Shalom, shalom. We give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakadash. The honor to the elders and apostles for the edification and knowledge. The Wadi Yahushim Yahshah, putting the spirit of the elders and apostles, we become edified regard, knowing this truth and knowledge, learning this truth and knowledge. Call Haliyah Yah Bashim Yahshah, Bashim Rakakadash. Give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshah, Bashim Rakakadash. Talking on there's a few scriptures relating to um, um, was a few days ago we're talking about um, historical black colleges a bomb threats and like seven of them one of them was in Howard University I believe earlier this week talking about that and um, in the sports they're talking about uh, was a coach former one of the coaches uh, offering um, to uh, pretty much take a dive in the games like 2016 the 17 season. And um, one having a lawsuit over um, um, discrimination and stuff like that, and treatment of um, black coaches and stuff like that, so-called black coaches, because they're black. They're, they're, there's no such thing as black. There's, um, they're different shades of brown, der derivative shades of brown, man, from the lightest to the darkest. And black's a byword. 28 um, Deuteronomy um, 37. Jake just wants just a piece of the pie, man. He don't want the whole pie. He just ha he just happy to he's happy to just to get a slither, man. You know, not understanding that you know that this is a time of reflection and why you're in a certain state of condition because really. As Micah 2 and 10 says, um, this is not a place of your rest. This shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. So this is never a place of your rest, per se. This is a place to reflect, look back and why you're in a state of condition, and why um, you're um, treated in a certain way as an individual in the collective, as a group. Man. By these other nations that really don't respect you, man. They like having you around as, you know, for... Uh, for mocking and joking, but they really don't respect you like that. They look down at you, man. They're not laughing uh, with you. They're laughing at you, man. And not in a good way. Let's get Deuteronomy 28 and 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations. So the other nations, they're going to mock you, man. You're going to be you're going to be a gazing stock. They're going to look at you a certain way, laugh at you, man. This is part of the curses, man. That these nations will not respect you, man. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee, man. So that's part of the punishment. Bywords. Negro. Black. African American. Monkey. You still have um, places where they're vandalizing, using um, derogatory um, of certain types of names um, um, against certain groups of people, man. Go to um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Deuteronomy um let's go to Deuteronomy twenty eight and one and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently into the voice of the Lord thy God Yahweh to observe and do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God Yahweh will set thee on high above all the nations on the earth. So if you do accordingly as the Lord has, has spoken, um, you will be set part uh, above these nations. And you are really above these nations. For the righteous for the world was created for the righteous sake, man. So you are above these nations, man. But you're under punishment because 
um, they had, they disobeyed uh, the nation of Israel disobeyed the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahshah, and um, so they they're they're made to be in the low estate. While he set in great dignity, the rich sit in a low place. They were once kings and princes, but now now they made to be servants. Man, Ecclesiastes ten six and seven. So. So they're 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 in the lowest state because ultimately they transgress against their power Yahweh Bashim Yosha, man. So he mouthed these base of nations, how the Lord views them relating to uh, Isaiah 40, uh, 15 through 17, he looks at them as um as uh, as um, as less than nothing. They are spittle but less than nothing, man. So that's how the Lord looks at them, man. But he allowed those nations to be above um above nation Israel to ultimately punish Israel for because of their what disobedience and rebellion man. And, and nation Israel is ab above every all the nations they are separate holy uh, peculiar special people man uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6 Deuteronomy 14 and 2 man that's why they're separate from the other 17 nations man because the Lord had chosen that particular nation for himself man Let's go down to um, let's go down to 15 but it, it shall come to pass if thou not will hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and do all his commandments and, and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee They'll come upon thee, overtake thee until they destroy thee. Deuteronomy 28 and 45, man. And that's what's happened, man. That's why a certain uh, certain groups and nation uh, group of people get certain um, gets get certain kinds of uh, adversities come upon them, man. Because ultimately it starts spiritually first, man. Above all the other nations, man. You know? Because ultimately these curses were set as that plague. A pestilence upon the nation of Israel. Now, Deuteronomy 30 and 7 talks about that the curse is going to ease up a little bit and start hitting these other nations, man. But ultimately, these curses were set upon the nation of Israel because they're the people. For our scripture says, For you only have I known, so for I will punish you, man. That scripture says, man. So, the, so that's the um, reason why. Um, the so-called blacks and Spanish Native Americans really go through the, the things they go through because they forgot who they really are as a people and they forgot they transgress against Yahweh Yashah in their previous lives and all the way to now, man. It's that simple, man. I'm going to give you an example of some curses. Like I said, Deuteronomy 28 and 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment and proverb and a byword among among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. And look at historically that the certain nation groups of people have become a byword, a proverb among among all these other nations that mock, ridicule, laughed at these um, specific people, man. They've been doing it ever since, man. The reason why? Because it's part of the curses, man. That's part of the punishment that the Lord has set upon his people, man, for their disobedience, using the other nations to implement his purpose of punishment, man. Deuteronomy 28 and 45. Moreover, these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee until they overtake thee. So these curses are relentless, like that plague that's going to continuously follow. Something that you can't shake off, man. Until thou be destroyed, because thou hearken not into the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and statutes which he commanded. That's the reason. That's why these curses come upon you. Whether you're a rich, so-called black, spanning, Native American, middle class, which is no middle class because it's only rich and poor, man. Middle class were kicked out a long time ago. So either you're rich or you're poor. So you were poor. If you're rich, Jake, you're still affected by the curses, man. You're still going to be affected by the curses. It may be on a different level. 
as somebody on a, a, a lower level or you know who's not who don't have the um, the resources or the fluent or the uh, the influence as far as you know related to the money and wealth because that's that's that shock absorber that's that buffer that money and stuff like that but the point is whether you're a rich Jake or a poor Jake you're under the curses man because you're an Israelite number one and you're under the curses the curses are going to affect you whether rich or poor man it's just going to affect in a different manner man obviously for for the rich and the poor The reason why is ultimately because they haven't hearkened heed to the commandments and statutes um, and pretty much following Yahweh Yashah. For they are a rebellious, stiff necked, gainsaying people, man. That's why they get um, treated the way historically they have been treated, man. You know? And they struck they um majority of Jake still tries to find um to seek love. To seek seek acceptance. Just want to be treated equal, man. Not realizing this is not really their kingdom, man. This one's in, in a position of power that rule over them, man. And they're not gonna they're not gonna give you equality, man. Because that's not in their spirit, man. Let's go to um another scripture. Deuteronomy, uh, um, Shalakia, Jeremiah 2 and 33. Why trimmest, why trimmest thou, why trimmest thou ways to seek love? So why trimmest thou thy ways to seek the love of ones that don't love you, man? Therefore hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways, man? And they learn the wick they learn the ways of the wicked, man. You know, they learn the wicked the ways of the wicked through these other nations, man. And they seeking to um you know the trim the trim so they can get acceptance and love by these other nations that don't really want their love, man. You're just something to as um to be used. You're you're something that you're something as um, a tool for their for them to make money off of you to exploit you and um, you're just a means to the end for them that's it basketball players movie stars that's why they have to do certain things they tr they trying to trim their way so they can see that acceptance and love and most of all levels of comfort man on this side man because realistically the nation of Israel is supposed to not be comfortable in this kingdom man they supposed to be reflecting and uh, reflecting and and, and uh, un, uh, reflecting on why they're in the state of condition why they had to deal with certain things that other nations may not have to deal with per se man it's different types of things ec economically socially whatever the case might be because other nations don't go through the things they go through, man. Because the other nations, this is their kingdom, man. This is their rulership, man. They don't have to, man. So it's a time for reflection on why the, why you're being punished re regarding certain things or reflecting on why you're in a state of condition. So why trimmest thy ways to seek thy love, man? To seek thy acceptance, man. Go to um, Ezekiel 35, 5. Because our people don't really understand, man. They really don't understand, but it's not meant for them because they've been blinded. They forgot certain things, man, because that the they've been they've been darkened, spiritually darkened, man. And is they're there, uh, there's been a fog put over them, man. Pretty much amnesia, man. In a matter of speaking, they forgot, and that's purposely designed, man, by Yahweh Shem Yoshah. That's why only the remnant will begin to remember. As Scripture says, during your captivity, you begin begin to remember yourselves. How you remember yourselves is through, um, um, the Scriptures, man. 
because um, Ezekiel uh, 37, those dry bones, that, you know, because they were dead, man. The majority of people are dead from the spiritual aspect. But the re revitalization of that spirit will be put into a small remnant where they'll be revitalized through the spirit and start remembering things. And through their remembrance, what? Judges 5 and 11 begin to rehearse the righteous acts as practice and different things regarding the laws, man. Begin to um, um, practice and uh, reestablish what they can to the best of their abilities, man. Through works and through faith and believing, man. Because faith surpasses the laws, man. It implies the laws are 613. You can't keep them all, man. Not in this kingdom. You can't keep 613 laws. You got to know them all first to actually keep them all. You got to know all the laws, then to keep them all. Then keep the laws perfectly, even in this kingdom, man. And that that would that would uh, pretty much uh, negate what Yahweh Shai had done as the sacrificial lamb. He wouldn't be needed for his purpose, man. Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed, shed the blood of the children of Israel, because much blood was shed upon the nation of Israel by the force of the sword. The earth has been given to the hands of the wicked, and in the hands of the wicked is the sword. And they gain fatness of the earth, man. And using that sword, they shed, they shed much blood, man. Because thou hast perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. So in a time when they're in a very low state and going through a lot of things, man. Under the curses, under different afflictions and adversities. They took advantage of that. They went beyond that and enjoyed it, man. These other nations, man. But the Lord's going to enjoy judging them. So that's, that's the twofold, man. Shalaki for the noise in the background. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword. In the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. And therefore, as I left, say the Lord, I prepare thee into blood and blood and pursue thee, saying, Thou hast not hate blood, even blood shall pursue thee. So these nations had a, a perpetual hatred, man. That's why they do certain things in each captivity, man, against the nation of Israel, so called black, span, Native Americans. That's why these, these other nations don't have respect for the nation of Israel, man. Because this is part of the punishment that the Lord uh, would put on the nation of Israel using these other nations, man. Making memes of uh, so-called groups of people, man. And then laughing about it, then acting like they're, they, they're apologetic when they're not, man. So these are all part of the uh, things, man. Why um, they can't get equal treatment as far as certain levels of uh, professions, such as, for example, use sports and uh, um, the head coaching and stuff like that. Because these are part, they under the curses, man. Jake's under the curses, man. You know? And they have no understanding that, but it wasn't meant for them to understand anyway. Point is, man, different, different types of situations whether from a professional level, sports, movies, whatever, that Jake goes through is a reason behind it, man. And the first reason behind it is relating to, it goes back to the scriptures, relating to the curses, man. And the curses are a real thing. They affect the nation of Israel on different levels, man. And some on extreme levels more than others, man. But they affect, man. Because these things were pursued thee until they overtake thee, until they destroy you. Deuteronomy 28, 45. And the Lord sent these as a, as a plague and a pestilence upon his people, man, for their disobedience, man. But only for a time and season, man. I hope this helps whoever listens. This is something, you know, a few scriptures relating to that. Kind of impromptu. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yashah Bashim Rakakadash. This is Brother Zayah, which means wolf. Give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yashah. Shalom. Thanks. Hope it helps. Shalom.